What's going on, Lead Gen Bees? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. I've uh, got a cool video for you today. I'm going to be showing you how to use trigger links uh, inside of Go High Level to help you convert more of your leads into actual customer uh, customers, booked appointments, et cetera. And uh, basically, the idea of this is to have an automation that um, kind of it, it reminds people to complete whatever action that you sent them to, but they didn't do it. So, you know, if they click on a link in your email campaign to book an appointment or to make a purchase, they visit the order form or the appointment page, um, but they don't take that action. You can create automations uh, based on that link click um, that that checks to see if they completed that uh, that particular action. And if not, you can send emails, text messages, voice drops, you know, Facebook Messenger, uh, whatever whatever uh, information you have and uh, to remind them to complete that action. So this can be a really powerful way to help convert more of your leads into actual customers, clients, booked appointments, et cetera, right? So make sure you stick to the end. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to uh, create this. It's actually pretty easy. Just a few uh, few basic things we need to do. So um, uh, as usual, guys, my only ask is if you do find the video helpful, please smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Check out the links in the description. Always have good stuff for you guys there. If you don't have Go High Level yet for your business, please go through my affiliate link in the description. Uh, it really does help support the channel. You guys are awesome. Appreciate it. All right, let's do this. So the first thing that we want to do is create the actual trigger link. And this is going to be the, uh, you're going to be using the link that, um, you know, the, the regular link that you send to your appointment page or your order form, whatever. We want to grab that URL. So uh, for this particular case, I'm going to use my SaaS product, uh, Elite Broker, and I'm going to grab the order form. And I, again, ideally this, uh, this, you want to use the link that you're using in your email marketing. Um, or you could, you could also do this uh, with your text marketing as well. Um, really anywhere you're sending links, all right? So you're gonna grab that uh, URL, all right? And then we're gonna click on marketing, all right? And then trigger links, click on links here, add link, name it, whatever you want. Uh, in this case, it would be Elite Broker Order Form. You paste in the URL, click save, good to go. Uh, I, got, I actually already have this trigger link right here, all right? So I already have mine set up. But that's how you create the trigger link, all right? So now that we have that, we need to create the automation for it. And then I'm gonna show you how to insert your trigger links into your campaigns, your emails, text messages, et cetera, all right? So let's go to automation. And uh, I should say um, there's probably a couple of different ways. Uh, I'm sure there's a few different ways to do this. I'm gonna show you the easiest way I've found to do it so far. So uh, we're gonna create a workflow here. Start from scratch. Oh, I, um, I should mention uh, one other thing. You do need a tag here as well. Uh, let's go back. Um, so a tag that, uh, like, when, you know, if they book an appointment, if they make a purchase or whatever that action is you want them to take, um, in that automation, uh, you want to create a, a, add a tag to their profile, right? So let me show you what I mean by that just really quick. Uh, let me find my purchase automation here. All right, so you see that as soon as someone purchases, I add a tag purchased a lead broker or booked appointment, whatever. So you need to make sure you have that tag. That's going to be an important part of this automation. So make sure you have that done. Assuming you do, now we can create our trigger link automation. So let's go back to that draft. Okay. So our trigger is obviously, it's going to be the trigger link. All right. So our new uh, workflow trigger, we're going to select trigger link clicked right here. Add filter. We're going to choose that trigger link that we just created. All right, Elite Broker order form, save trigger. And then we're gonna click the plus sign and we want the system to do a check. So we're gonna do if else. Um, and actually uh, before that, uh, you wanna decide how, how much time uh, like in between the click do you want to send this stuff? So I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes, you know, give them some time to, you know, go, go get their credit card or check their calendar, whatever. All right, so we'll just, we'll wait uh, 20 minutes here. All right, and then the system's gonna check this stuff. So we're gonna wait 20 minutes. Okay, save action. Now we're gonna do if else. Okay, and we're gonna choose contact details and then tags. All right, so that's why you need the tag uh, from earlier. All right, includes, and we're gonna find that tag. So in this case, it's purchased elite broker. All right, so essentially what the system is doing when this trigger link is clicked that we just created that we're gonna be using in our marketing now, it's gonna add them to this automation, it's gonna wait 20 minutes, and then it's gonna to check to see if they have that tag 
on their profile. That's essentially what, what it's doing here. Now, if they do, that means they completed that action. They made the purchase, they booked the appointment. So we don't need to do this. We can just remove them from the workflow. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that under the yes uh, column here, remove from current workflow, that's it. And actually you probably don't even need to do that because it just ends. But anyways, uh, if they don't, obviously that means they have not taken that action. So that's, that's when we wanna send the emails, text messages, voice drops, you know, uh, whatever whatever channels of communication you want to use. Uh, I'm just going to use send email uh, as an example. Uh, I'm going to just, I'm just going to select a template here because uh, that's usually what I do. I, I, I usually use the um, uh, email builder. I'll create a template. I'll add the template here, but you know, put your from name, from email address, uh, subject line. This would be something like regarding your elite broker purchase, uh, regarding your XYZ appointment or something like that. Something that's going to capture their attention. All right. And essentially, that's what the email would say is, you know, uh, hey, Mr. Prospect saw that, uh, you know, you were checking out Elite Broker, wanted to see if you have any questions. Uh, and if you had an issue with your order, um, it looks like you didn't get a chance to complete your order. Click the link right here to go ahead and get um, uh, to complete that. Uh, we'll get you signed up. You know, maybe have some additional instructions about what's going to happen afterwards. And uh, or it could be as simple as, you know, reply to this email if you have a specific question that I can't uh, can answer. Click this link to book an appointment. Maybe you want a, a demo of the product, whatever it is, right? It's going to depend on your business. All right. You save action and you can you can really add as much as you want to it at this point. All right. So, you know, you don't want to do, go too, too crazy. You don't want to annoy people. But a simple um, a reminder can, you know, can, that, that can save a lot of appointments, a lot of um, a lot of sales potentially. All right. So uh, I'm going to be adding this like to for every product uh, as well. But. Uh, after that, you just click publish, click save. The automation side of it is done. And now we want to make sure that you're actually using the trigger links. All right. You have to be using them uh, in, in order for this to uh, to actually work. All right. So what you'll do, uh, I'll just show you kind of where this um, where I use them inside of my email campaigns now. So if we go to marketing, we'll go to the email builder. Like I said, I, I usually for all most of my emails, I use the, the email builder here. All right. Um, I'm just going to use, well, I guess we can go to, uh, go to a lead broker here. All right, let's do, um, handling objections here. Okay. So this is really good too. Like if you already have a bunch of, you know, automated emails and stuff, you can just go back through and update them with the, uh, with the trigger link now. So instead of sending them directly to the URL, you use the trigger link in, uh, instead. So um, let's scroll down. I'm just going to use right here. I'm going to use the button, but regardless of your email design, um, you just, wherever your links are, that's where you want to do this. All right. So um, you click on the button or the image, whatever uh, link URL right here. You're just going to click right here and then scroll down to, you see trigger links. And then you just click your trigger link and it inserts the trigger link now. All right. So then, then when they click it, it obviously redirects them to the correct URL. Um, but that's how you insert your trigger links and they can be, really, really, really powerful for helping you to, uh, to convert a lot more of your list. Um, so with that said, I think that's pretty much it. It's, uh, it's really not, not complicated. Uh, it's, it's actually, and it's even easier. Like if you already have, you know, email and text campaigns or whatnot that are going out, then, um, you know, all you have to do is update your links to these trigger links and you have a whole new uh, system or, or series of automations that open up to you to, to, to close more deals, you know, get more appointments, close more sales. So uh, what do you guys think? Uh, was that helpful? I hope so. Uh, I think it's really powerful. It's, you know, pretty simple, you know, simple reminders, but it can make a really big impact in your business. So drop some comments down below. Uh, would love to hear your feedback. Any questions, of course, too. Uh, um, like I said, if you found the video helpful, please smash that like button. Make sure you join the Facebook group. Hope you guys are crushing it and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.